Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's Down and Dirty, we're gonna be talking work boots. And the reason the angle is so different is because I'm not gonna be the focus of this video. Quite literally, when I put this work boot up here, I'm gonna to be totally out of focus, but that's okay. Because today, we're talking work boots. So what I've got for us today, the Brahmas. So if you're not familiar with this past year on my channel, uh, we had someone in the comments actually say that Brahmas were some of the best work boots because you can't beat them for the price. You use them as throwaway boots because they're cheap and you just deal with the fact that you're gonna go through a pair or so every year. I put it to the test. It was actually an accident that I put it through the test. It was because I forgot my work boots when I went to see Taylor Abraham down in Ohio. So I decided, okay, let's run up to Walmart and let's actually do this. So I have a pair of Brahmas that have been put through a full work season here. And we're gonna talk about some of the things that I have noticed. So first of all, the boot itself you can see has actually held up pretty well. Uh, the only thing I will say is you've got a lot of fraying here around the laces uh, where they are rubbing on the material. So it doesn't look super nice, but at the same time, the actual integrity of the boot is just fine. It's literally just this little, uh, this roughed up part of the, the leather that is starting to wear off. But the actual integrity of the boot is totally fine. Um, the laces themselves, as you can see, they look like they've frayed a little bit, but again, the actual integrity of the laces has held up just fine. Now, where I have been a little worried about these is from the sole. So as you can see from the top down view, uh, the sole on these things has really flattened out and widened out. And it's because it's made of such a soft material. In fact, let's look at it from this angle here and you can see how this is just, it's kind of mushing out. If that's a, you know, that's a highly technical word when you're talking about boots, isn't it? But it's literally just from my body weight pressing down on this kind of, it's almost like a soft foam that the sole is made out of, uh, that it is starting to kind of mushroom out. And so that has been a concern of mine throughout the season. Now I will say this has been through a full season of dirt work as an operator. And I do wanna be very clear on this review. This was not super, super tough conditions. I didn't go easy on the boots by any means, but these weren't super tough conditions. And, and what do I mean by that? Well, let me put this to the side. This is a Red Wing boot. This is a Red Wing 2414. And these have been through about seven years of hard, rough, manual labor. Uh, I actually spent a year and a half walking next to a concrete breaker on torn up concrete with these boots. Uh, and I would generally walk, I think I estimated I would walk three to four miles a day, probably, no, I take that back, five to six miles a day uh, between walking alongside the breaker and then walking back and forth to check uh, how well the concrete was being broken. So that was t a year and a half of five to six miles a day. That was six to seven days a week during the work year. Um, and, and again, I'm here in Michigan, so we work about oh, seven months out of the year. So these have been through a lot. And I want you to notice the difference in the soles on these guys. I mean, that sole is, it's worn, absolutely. In fact, you can see that we've got a little break uh, right here in the sole. But at the same time, it doesn't go all the way through the sole. It's just kind of where, where it mates to the bottom of the boot. Uh, this thing, it's you're not having it peel away from the boot whatsoever. And notice the bottom of the boot, you've still got really, really um, good tread for how much I've used these things and the conditions I've used them on. Um, you can see that's it's, it's getting a little thin right there. But outside of that, these boots are in great shape and I could probably get another, I don't know, three to four years out of those things comfortably. The leather itself, while it has got a bunch of nicks and scratches and dings in it, again, from being around broken concrete all the time and asphalt millings and everything else, dropping PVC pipe on these things on the end, unintentionally, obviously, but it happens. These things have held up really, really well. Versus again, you go back to your Brahmas here. This is one season working in the dirt. Mind you, that's in the dirt. These are not in asphalt, not in broken concrete. Look at how worn down the sole is on these things. I mean, yeah, I could probably get another season out of these, but they're gonna be limping through it. 
So, uh, so let's kind of talk about overall the boot quality. Obviously, when we're talking forty-four dollars from Walmart for a Brahma, or three hundred and fifty dollars for a Red Wing boot. Obviously, you take a tremendous step up in price, but you also take a tremendous step up in quality. The other thing I wasn't a huge fan of uh, with the Brahmas, so let me back up there and kind of reiterate why I said that. Um, I'm not going to expect this boot to perform as well as this boot here. It makes no sense. If you're paying three to four times uh, the price for something, this better perform at least three to four times as long as this guy here. And I can comfortably say after using this for a season, this will absolutely live past the duration of three to four times. I think I could comfortably get seven to ten years out of these boots assuming i'm just an operator if you're a laborer obviously you're a lot harder on your boots because you're you're on your feet all day long in a bunch of different conditions operators generally you're going to be sitting in the seat of a machine so i think you could easily get 10 years out of a red wing boot again this was me running these boots as an operator i think after a year it's pretty well spent two excuse me two years you'd pretty well be pushing it so that's number one. The other thing I don't like about these nearly as much, uh, your feet absolutely do get wet. They are not waterproof. Uh, these actually have the Gore-Tex in them, right? I think that's Gore-Tex. Uh, so these are completely waterproof. I can get up to my ankle in water and I will stay completely dry inside the boot. Uh, these, as far as I know, Brahma does not offer a kind of calf, and you can see the difference in height here, a calf height boot. This is about as tall as you're gonna get with the Brahmas that I'm aware of, at least in all of the Walmarts I've checked, and I have made a point to look in a couple different locations in a couple different states to see if they offer a different product lineup. I can't find anything that goes over this height. So if you're a laborer, obviously that's gonna play into it huge because you're gonna be tromping through puddles and you're gonna be in ankle deep mud all the time. That's just part of the business. This is gonna give you a lot more protection than the Brahma will. So ultimately, where do I land? Oh, from a comfort standpoint, that's important. Let's cover that. Um, these guys actually were surprisingly not that bad. Straight out of the box, I would say um, these these were decently comfortable. Took a little bit of getting used to, as does any new boot when you put your foot into it. Uh, the Red Wings hugs my foot a lot tighter. You can see this is a very, very wide boot. I don't know that they really offer a narrow option versus this Red Wing absolutely hugs my foot so it is not moving around and there's not a lot of play inside the boot with your foot. So this absolutely uh, is a more comfortable boot overall to wear. The insole in this, the actual little pad that your foot rests on, uh, this is about the, the thickness of three pieces of paper. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but not a whole heck of a lot. I actually put some different insoles in these, uh, and I found them at Home Depot, so I don't want to knock... Um, I, I don't want to kind of have that negatively impact, but the insoles I picked were extremely hot. That's no fault of the boot itself. Um, but I would absolutely recommend some sort of a Dr. Scholl's or something that you can pick up at Walmart for relatively cheap. Absolutely get you some different insoles for these because they are paper thin. Uh, and you can actually, over the course of probably three or four months, I was able to start feeling uh, the small little, I don't know if it's rivets under there or the, the beads of glue, whatever it is that they're using to actually stick the boot together with the sole, you start to feel that in the bottom of your feet because the insoles are so thin. Obviously the Red Wing, you're paying, you know, 350 bucks for it. It's got a much higher quality insole. It's a much more comfortable boot overall. Um, these can absolutely come along, like I said, with an aftermarket insole. So overall, as an overall review, uh, I would say if you're an operator, you're not getting out of the cab too frequently, or if you're just getting into the industry and you don't have the cash to get a nice quality work boot like a Red Wing or a Wolverine, uh, or and I can't even think of some of the other brands now, this is absolutely a viable option. I would say this can absolutely get you through a season. At the end of the day, you're out 40 to 50 bucks. Uh, that's absolutely worth the investment. It will, it will hold up for for the value, the value proposition is there that, that for 50 bucks in one season, you can absolutely use this as a throwaway boot. And at $45 or whatever it was from Walmart, so 50 with tax, 
I have no problem throwing this away at the end of this season. Like I'm very comfortable with that. I feel like I got $50 of use out of this boot this season. Cause like I said, I wasn't easy on it. I didn't go easy, but at the same time, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna hold up for the duration. So if you're just getting into the industry, absolutely. If you just wanna throw away work boot that you know you're gonna replace once, maybe twice a year, absolutely, this is a viable option. Now, doesn't hold a candle to a quality work boot. It is what it is. I, I wish I could say differently, um, but but kind of my experiment over this year has absolutely proved it doesn't hold a candle to a quality work boot. And another feature, another added bonus of the Red Wings is I can take this to a Red Wing shoe store anytime I want, as many times a week as I want. I can drop them off. They will wash these and condition the leather and give them back to me. It's generally a 24 hour turnaround time and it doesn't cost me anything. That comes with the boot. That's part of getting the boot. Um, you have the ability to actually get these resold. Uh, they will actually replace the laces for you. Uh, I mean, it comes with a whole service package versus my Brahmas, you get a, you, I mean, you get a work boot. There's, there's no more extras included. And so again, this is, and I do want to reiterate with the Red Wing, I have not taken true care of these like I should have. Realistically, getting these conditioned at least once a, once a month will substantially uh, elongate the life of the boot. And I have not done that, as I would say most people in the industry don't. Um, and yet here it is. I mean, it's held up just fine. Like I said, after seven years, that's still a viable work boot. That's a great work boot. I still use these all the time. Uh, I haven't this year. They have been shelved for the year. So I did my Brahma experiment, but this is a great work boot. So use the Brahmas if it's your first year getting into the industry, or if you want to throw away work boot, if you want something quality, absolutely save up the 350 bucks that it's going to take you to buy a pair of Red Wings or another quality brand absolutely go that direction because it will be worth it in the long run. You ultimately will start to spend more money on the Red Wings, or I'm sorry, on the Brahmas than you will had you just purchased a quality work boot to begin with. So that's it for today. Absolutely. I know we're going to stir up some controversy here because everyone's die hard about their boot brand. Let's do it. Bring it on. Comment down below what your favorite boot brand is. If you have some arguments, absolutely throw them down below. Let's get into it. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you on the next episode of, man, I don't even know what show I'm doing because I do so many of these stinking shows. We'll catch you on the next Down and Dirty, guys.